in a world driven by extremes, where excess and scarcity often were for dominance, a different philosophy emerged, a path that seeks balance amidst the chaos. Welcome to the realm of Wasotoya consumerism. Consumerism has become synonymous with the relentless pursuit of more, more possessions, more status, and more influence. But buried beneath the relance of materialism lies a growing movement, one that embraces moderation, mindfulness, and social responsibility. Wasatiya consumerism is a term inspired by the Islamic principle of wasat, or moderation. It encourages individuals to navigate the labyrinth of consumer culture with a discerning eye, seeking harmony between personal desires and the greater good. It is a paradigm shift that challenges the notion that progress and prosperity can only be measured by the accumulation of possessions. Wasotia consumerism invites us to rethink our relationship with the material world and explore the power of mindful consumption. This documentary will take you on a transformative journey, delving into the heart of Wasotia consumerism, a movement that champions ethical consumption, sustainable production, and the pursuit of a more balanced existence. Wasotia consumerism. Let us first know what is the concept of Wasotia consumerism. Wasotia consumerism is a unique concept founded in Islamic teachings that exists in the world consumed by materialism and excess. This principle, which is guided by the Tawheed principles, promotes balance, resignation, and confidence in Allah. Let us look at the essence of Wasatiyah consumerism and how it has the power to change our lives. Conventional consumerism motivated by the desire of financial fulfillment, frequently has negative consequences such as waste, debt, and a dependency on materialistic idols. Wasatiyah consumerism, on the other hand, takes a distant approach emphasizing both material utility and spiritual fulfillment. Consumption has become a dominant factor in today's world, forcing individuals to continuously purchase items and services. It is defined by a desire for material stuff and a drive to keep up with the current trends. This type of consumerism, known as conventional consumerism, emphasizes individual freedom and choice, pushing consumers to spend as much as possible. However, there is another viewpoint rooted in Islamic teachings, Wasatiyah consumerism. This Islamic viewpoint emphasizes moderation, equilibrium, and commitment to Quranic values. Wasatiyah consumers aim to purchase things and services that meet their requirements and are not harmful to themselves, others, or the environment. Wasatiyah consumerism's strength rests in its capacity to argue for a balanced attitude to consuming, supporting financial security, as well as spiritual fulfillment. However, difficulties occur when non-Muslim countries are considered, even in the Muslim-majority countries, traditional consumerism has a strong hold on society. Wasatiyah consumerism provides an alternative to mainstream consumerism's harmful actions. Individuals who follow this plan can have a healthier, more balanced financial lifestyle while adhering to Islamic beliefs. However, it is crucial to note that the research focus exclusive on Muslim consumers and more research is needed to address the issues experienced by consumers from other populations. Wasatiya consumerism motivates people to engage in responsible consumer behavior. It promotes philanthropy, not only monetary charity, but also sharing resources and caring for others. The guiding principle becomes balance. 
which ensures that consumption is within one's means and requirements. An ihsan, or the pursuit of excellence, motivates people to make deliberate decisions that benefit both themselves and society. Wasatiyah consumerism This concept serves a guiding light for Muslims in achieving balance, fairness and charity from its theoretical roots to practical applications focused on Wasatiyah consumerism.